view must come ahead of other conversations on the structure of our national governance going forward. As a party, ODM has never shied away from stepping up and having difficult conversations whenever the destiny of our nation is at stake. Indeed, it is said that it is in times of crisis that leadership emerges. The emerging issues and the urgent need to address them is not about re rescuing the Kenya Kwanza regime or indeed William Ruto. The nation is bigger than and distinct from any one of us. We see this as a chance to rescue our nation and pull it back from the precipice. We therefore welcome these developments in the hope that they will, make, they will mark the beginning of honest and earnest efforts to address the myriad issues expressed by disappointed and angry youths and a huge segment of the Kenyan population. As a party, we shall not fear to engage with the country, and when we do, we shall not do that in fear. We believe in fighting injustice and dictatorship in all their manifestations because we believe, <clears throat> we believe every single member of the country has a right to hold opinions, to express those opinions, and to be heard. This entire crisis was precipitated by a failure to listen to each other. It cannot be resolved by that same attitude. There is no table that ODM will not go to if the destiny of our nation is the main agenda. ODM will also not object to the presence of any other person or group of people on that table, no matter how outrageously different their view of the world is from ours. In order, to, in order for all of us to have this national conversation, we call on the government to take certain immediate steps to create the necessary environment for those talks. The decision to fire his cabinet was a good start in our view, but the feeling across the country is that there still exists an atmosphere of fear that makes it impossible for people to speak freely. Ruto must immediately fire the Inspector General of Police, the Nairobi Police Commander, and apprehend all police officers implicated in the murders of the over 200 innocent Kenyans in peaceful protests since last year. We also call for a national amnesty for all persons arrested or charged in connection with protests and compensation for all the victims of police brutality. Time is of the essence, fellow countrymen. I thank you, and that is the end of the statement. My brothers from NTV, you will force me to do this again? No, they will take, they will take it from here. So, does it you call you? What do you think, uh, Seth? Because it's very brief, I can run through it again. Are you, are you Seth? But I'm not going to start if any other person comes yeah, yeah. in. I'll only extend this to my friends from NTV. Okay. Yeah, so the Central Management Committee of ODM has met this morning to review the current affairs in the country. This meeting took place against the backdrop of continuing protests against the government across the country, the rejection of the Finance Bill 2024, the dismissal of the entire cabinet yesterday, and the offer by President William Ruto for consultations across different sectors and political formations with a view to forming, in his own words, a broad-based inclusive government that can assist in transforming Kenya. We stand ready to support the country, come up with measures that can restore lasting peace and stability and address the long-standing issues like unemployment, the unending search for justice and equality, fighting corruption, negative ethnicity in our national life, instilling a tradition for meritocracy in appointment to public office and ending the unfair and punitive economic and taxation policies. This conversation, in our view, must come ahead of other conversations on the structure of our governance going forward. As a party, ODM has never shied away from stepping up and having difficult conversations whenever the destiny of our nation is at stake. Indeed, it is said that it is in times of crisis that leadership emerges. The emerging issues and urgent need to address them is not about rescuing Kenya Kwanza regime or indeed Ruto himself. The nation is bigger than and distinct from any one of us. We see this as a chance to rescue our nation and pull it back from the precipice. We therefore welcome these developments in the hope that they will mark the beginning of honest and earnest efforts to address the myriad issues expressed by disappointed and angry young people and a huge segment of the Kenyan population. As a party, we shall not fear to engage with the country, and when we do, 
we shall not do that in fear. We believe in fighting injustice and dictatorship in all their manifestations because we believe every single member of the country has the right to hold opinions, to express those opinions, and to be heard. This entire crisis was precipitated by a failure to listen to each other. It cannot be resolved by that same attitude. There is no table that ODM will not go to if the destiny of our nation is the main agenda. ODM will also not object to the presence of any other person or group of people on that table, no matter how outrageously different their view of the world is from ours. In order for us to have this important national conversation, we call on government to take certain immediate steps. <laughs> they have to redo it. Hmm. That was what was linking us to the fear that makes it impossible for people to speak freely. Ruto must fire the Inspector General of Police, the Nairobi Police Commander, and apprehend to the life. <laughs> Royal Media gonna be We call for a national amnesty for all persons arrested or charged in connection with protests and compensation for all victims of police brutality. Time is of the essence, fellow countrymen. That is the end of the statement and because it's a Friday, please allow us not to take any questions. Thank you very much. No, no, we will, we will, we will. We, we, we have a chairman of PAC here. It's a small issue. It's also the minority leader. <laughs> Between those two gentlemen, I'm sure they can get you something. Defraying the cost. Yes. Ikosawa. Okay, thank you very much, uh, members of the media. As always, we appreciate uh, your coming at short notice uh, to cover our press statements. So this is a statement of the ODM Central Management Committee, which held its meeting uh, this morning to review the current affairs in the country. <coughs> this meeting is taking place against a backdrop of continuing protests against the government across the country, the region.